Hi, this is Mo Volans, and as you can probably see, I'm in a brand new version of Reason. This is actually Reason version 8, and in this short series of videos, we're going to be taking a look at what's new and what you can expect to find when you install it and get it out of the box. So first of all, let's take a look at the main interface because this is where many of the changes have taken place. The best way I can describe things here is that Reason's really had a facelift. But if you're a Season Reason user and you're coming to this new version, you're not really going to get lost. It's just cleaner and everything just looks a bit cooler, to be honest. But if you're a new Reason user, this is a really good time to come in because the interface has really come of age now and the workflow is just awesome. So let's take a look at sort of the main part of the interface and what has changed. We've really got the similar layout to earlier versions of Reason in that we've got the mixer, we've got the rack and we've got the sequencer. And this is what I'm gonna look at first and how these are sort of hidden and shown uh, and how they're maximized and minimized really. So at the minute you can see we've got these sort of little half moon symbols and these are cool because they show that it's half exposed. If you wanna fully expose a section, there's a couple of ways to do it. We can double click on the bar and that will give you the whole mix of you. I've also got F5, F6 and F7 set up. F5 is the mixer. So if we press it on it once, you'll get the whole mixer. Press on it again and you'll go back to the previous view. Then you've got the rack on the F6 and then you've got the sequencer on F7. And you can click on any of these or press any of these again to get the previous view. Again, you can just double click on them to have the same effect or you can press this little icon here to hide and we'll get half view, semi view, and this will allow you to mix and match. You can also drag these around so you can resize them. So you can completely get rid of them or you can resize them however you like. So it's really flexible, you know, you can see that just this alone, sort of three different ways of viewing and hiding these sections is really flexible and just gives you a really cool workspace. I think that if you've got limited monitor space, maybe on a small laptop, maybe a MacBook Air or some sort of netbook and you're running Reason, then it's gonna be really ideal for making the most of your workspace. Now over to the left here, we've got the new browser and I'm gonna be covering this in detail. The whole second part of this video series is gonna be based on the whole drag and drop philosophy that Reason works on and also the browser. So I'm not really gonna to get too far into this, but you can see that it's really been updated. If you used to use the tools window, by the way, which is still available, this has now been cut down. So it hasn't really got all of those devices in it. It's really based on uh, no editing, groove editing, things like that. And everything else has been pushed over to the browser here, as have the factory sounds, as have song samples, recent patches, and so much more that we'll be getting into a really great search engine as well. So the first thing that I wanna look at in the next video is the sequencer. We've shown it briefly. I'm just gonna open it up again. And this is a demo song that comes with Reason, so it's a really good showcase of the sequencer. I'm gonna show you how the track view has been updated and what you can expect to find once you've loaded Reason and maybe started your first project. And that's what we're gonna be looking at in the next video.